guys, it's Jonah here once again, and it's Sunday, so that can mean only one thing. I've been back to the supermarket and got some more beer. Now, this week I found something that I previously kind of overlooked, um, and I shouldn't have done. I should have picked up the bottle and had a look. It is Sainsbury's Suffolk Blonde, and if you look very, very carefully, on the bottle, see these ridges? I don't know if you can make out what that says. This is a St. Peter's effort with Sainsbury's. Obviously they're in Suffolk, down near Bungie, if you've ever been out that way. Um, and we've got a beer here, which is 4.7, so almost 5% on the old ABV. And I can't believe I missed a a reasonably cheap St. Peter's beer. <coughs> Beg your pardon. And these are part of the offer, which is, I think it's uh, buy four for the price of three. So you can get one of these free if you buy some other beers. It would be rude not to. Um, yeah, but it's all badged up with the old uh, taste the difference, Sainsbury stuff. But I can't believe it, on the actual bottle, it's got the old St. Peter's stuff on there. I can't believe it. Right, let's get in there. Even the cap is a Sainsbury's cap. So who, how would I to know? Who was I to know? You know what I'm saying. A little bit of smoke. Now this has got Hallertau hops in. Um, and as we all know, they're German. Um, so they're usually in lagers, but there are an increasing number of bitters, um, especially British ones, that are using Hallertauer hops. Look at that. The other thing about these is St. Peter's use green bottles. I don't know if you've noticed those. Now, look at that. That's interesting. Um, not much head to speak of. Nice golden colour, he says, spilling a bit, never mind. And it's definitely got that kind of lager sort of aroma. Reminds me a little bit of those German beers that I had over the Oktoberfest Experimente. That kind of citrusy... Not a cascade, it's definitely not a cascade. It's that, that citrus, grassy kind of uh, aroma. Anyway, let's get stuck in. Up front, bang, you've got that citrusy aroma. With a touch of kind of banana. If you get a green banana, it's not quite ripe. And you, it's a bit more crunchy than a than a yellow or even a brown one, which is a bit soggy really. But um, the green ones are a bit crisp. It's got that kind of taste. Mmm, now that I've tasted it, there's a hint of it in the aroma too. It's quite kind of, there's a little bit of spice in there too. quite bitter up front, hits you a bit like a lager does, very crisp in, in, your, in your mouth, and then it mellows to that kind of green banana, that's the only way I can describe it. It's not that well carbonated, so I'm not going to have a problem with belching, I don't think, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's not overly bitter, so it's kind of like a, a pale ale, I'd say. But it's interesting, if they've used other hops, um, they haven't named them on the bottle. It says East Anglian Wheat. Okay, so it's a wheat beer as well. Maybe that's where the banana comes from. 
know a lot of uh, wheat beers you get that kind of citrusy orange but you also get the banana taste yeah now that I know it's got wheat in it even though it's absolutely crystal clear I'm definitely getting that kind of Bavarian uh, wheat beer taste. Not a cloudy beer, not a Belgian, but like a German, a German style. Mm. Have to say St. Peter's makes some really, really nice beers. And it's good to see them team up with, um, with Sainsbury's. This is one of the better kind of um, amalgamations of a brewery and a supermarket. I think they've done quite well. It is a light style so it's not going to be for everyone's taste but yeah St Peter's you've done well. <laughs> Guys we'll see you next week for another Supermarket Sunday and we'll see you during the week for reviews and generally my views on life. Cheers down the hatch. <laughs>